Hey everyone. So, I apologize to the United States Postal Service for ranting at them, which was obviously not the fault. I obviously had too many packages just for one mail truck. And I feel bad for the guy that delivered this because it is like 32 outside right now and he had to get out of his uh, truck and drag the package over to my door. Try meeting him out there before he got there, but it's kind of too late. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of my Roswell server case for the 2U setup. This is the RSV Z2700. It is a 2U case. Once again, made by Roswell. I will almost always prefer Roswell because they are nice and cheap. And they are very, very durable. Nice thick case. Chassis. Only thing I did not order at the moment was rails for it. But I'm going to have it sitting on top of that one. So. Oi. Anyone wants to give me a GoPro Hero like head mount? Let me know. Hold on, I got an idea. Let's see, come here, little tripod. Oi. Oi. Please ignore the messiness of the room, people. My room will always be messy when I am working on projects like this. Oh yeah. Hope you're all able to see this. This is where the Quartet Duo is going to go in. That will be the new media server. Oh, come here, knife. Oh, I already know I did not. Um, I will be installing Windows 7 Ultimate using the Plex Media Server app to stream all media throughout my house. The I have it, uh, the NAS on SMB shares, which will allow Windows to discover the drives. And if I map them in Windows, oh, this is a nice case. When I map them in Windows, it will allow me to permanently assign a drive letter to them. That will allow me to, oh, permanently store where they are in Flex so it does not lose where they are. Oh, this is so nice. If y'all didn't know, I am, might as well say I'm addicted to tech. I've had several friends at work threatened to buy me a shirt that says this person is highly addicted to technology hide all technology away from him oh now there are two versions of this case as you can see this one has a panel right here so you can put a 3.5 inch drive I will be putting one sorry 5.25 inch drive I'll be putting a DVD burner in here so I can burn home movies because I do record our Christmas times and I want to make sure everyone gets a copy. Once again, it is very thick. And the little box is inside. Oh, oh and it comes with serial number. Oh, that's quite heavy. As you can see, it will only fit a micro ATX case. It can fit a normal power supply, even with a bottom mountain fan, because it can vent through this. Uh, the one I'll be putting in here is a 250 watt out of an old uh, Lenovo PC I had laying around that I got from that doctor. Once again, those videos will eventually be uploaded after everything is said and done. Oh. But yeah. That is my new server case. Oh, and just to give y'all a quick preview. Oh. Here's the hardware. Uh, part of the hardware. Four sticks of 2 gigabyte memory, DDR2667 megahertz. I would have gone 800, but this board is very finicky. I have tried eight, several 800 megahertz sticks in this before. It keeps yelling at me when I try it. Core 2 Duo. Uh, see. E4500. 
Runs at 2.20 gigahertz with 2 meg cache. I'm only putting this in there after I take the bracket off. I have to order a low profile bracket. But I eventually plan on getting a uh, low profile PCIe dual uh, gigabit NIC for it. This will be the cooler that will be going in it. Wait! As long as I don't drop anything. I already have a fan for it. This one does not ship with a fan. This will work on socket 478 and 775. It is uh, completely aluminum. It has no copper from what I saw in the description. The brand is Thermal Right. I hope I got that right. Uh, get the box. Yeah, Thermal Right Incorporated. As you can see, uh, this is basically for P4, but it's got the adaption bracket that came with it. And it can also has a K8 version of it for, I guess, AMD processors. Uh, came with thermal paste, which I'll be trying out. If it doesn't work to my desired results, I will uh, probably put Arctic Silver in there. So, I hope y'all will enjoy the aftertakes uh, and all that of the server after it's built. I will do a video on that as well. See y'all later.